hell or high water. This movie is totally unrealistic. You're telling me that none of those people that saw Chris Pine rob those banks could describe him? What about his mesmerizing blue eyes? Come on now. Come on now. You can see those things from a mile away. Hell or High Water is a modern day western starring Chris Pine, Ben Foster, and Jeff Bridges. This movie actually has a uh, pretty simple plot, so I'm just going to give you the bare minimum to, uh, you know, avoid spoilers. Chris Pine and Ben Foster are two brothers that are out robbing banks out in the middle of nowhere, Texas, and they're not doing it to get rich. They're not doing it for selfish reasons. They're doing it for uh, kind of, sort of, uh, good reasons, I guess. It just depends on how you look at it. This movie forces you to use your moral judgment, and uh, one person could look at it and be like, yeah, these guys are robbing banks, they're total scumbags, but another person could look at it and be like, oh, I don't know. I'd probably do the same thing in their situation. I love when movies let you decide. They let you figure out on your own whether something is right or wrong instead of just trying to force you to think a certain way. Hell or High Water has some great acting performances in it. Everybody was great. Everybody brought their A game. Ben Foster is the wild card. He's the dirtbag brother who's not afraid to get his hands dirty. He's a guy that's totally sketchy, but he's useful in certain situations, so you keep him around, but you really... You really just gotta keep your eye on him. Chris Pine plays the good brother. I mean, as good as a bank robbing dude can be. It's a very subdued performance. His character has a lot on his mind and you can tell it's really weighing him down. And then there is Jeff Bridges, who was, uh, he was, uh, he was Jeff Bridges, which is always awesome. Uh, but he was doing that mumbly talk thing that he's been doing lately. Hurt her, harsh her, harsh her. Her share that Jeff Bridges says in the bank robbers say I'm the dude I wrote of Jeff Bridges. If you're impatient, you might not love Hell or High Water because there's no instant gratification with this movie. It's a total slow burn. But when things start to pay off, they pay off in a very satisfying way. There's a lot of hype surrounding this movie and for good reason. But do I think the movie lives up to the hype? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's a damn good movie. Uh, but maybe I was just expecting a little bit more out of it. A little more, uh, greatness to it. Hell or High Water is a well-acted, beautifully shot movie. This is a great-looking movie with some awesome character building and dialogue to it. It's just a good modern-day western, although probably not super rewatchable and could have used just maybe a touch more action. But still, it's a good-ass movie and I really enjoyed it. So in the end, I'm giving Hell or High Water an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'm Jared Cook. What did you think of Hell or High Water? Tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and see ya bye.